Hey Church, how are you doing? It's good to see you. Thanks for joining us on today's devotional. My name is Matt. Uh, I've got the privilege of serving on the creative team at church, which is awesome. Uh, and uh, today I've got the privilege of bringing you uh, our devotional. Um, I hope you're enjoying the new series that we're doing on Bible characters, uh, some of our favourite characters in, uh, in the Bible. And uh, yeah, I'm uh, I'm looking forward to what else we can learn. I know as I've been reading these, it's amazing, isn't it? What you can learn from uh, the people who've gone before us in the faith. As we read scripture, we can glean so much from those people who've gone before us. So let's get stuck in. Today, we're going to find ourselves in the book of Judges. And we're going to be talking about Samson. Now, this was uh, the first kind of thought that came to my mind when I was asked, what's your favourite favorite Bible character? It just straight away came into my head, Samson. Now, um, I think that was because I've heard this story since I was a kid in Sunday school and I remember imagining this kind of superhero strongman with long hair story kind of being a bit in awe of him and you know kind of painted a rose tinted picture a little bit I think um, sometimes with stories like this because uh, as I got into reading it again and going back over it realizing oh maybe there's other things that we can learn here uh, rather than things like being strong or stuff like that. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I had some amazing kids work leaders uh, in, when I was in Sunday school who recounted this story to me. Uh, and so it's kind of always stuck with me. Um, so Samson appears in the book of Judges, uh, chapters 13 through 16. Uh, Judges paints a bit of a grim picture, um, really, of the Israelites' failure to follow God's commands and details, their steady downward spiral as they fail to drive out the Canaanites and begin to worship idols and eventually seem to forget God altogether. However, despite the Israelites turning away, God consistently works to save and deliver them from their enemies. Not only does he do this, but time and again, he does it through the very people who are sinning against him. Uh, how incredible it is to know that no matter how far you've strayed from God, no matter how you feel you've turned your back on him, um, he is always faithful uh, and never turns his back on us. Not only that, but he uses ordinary everyday people just like us to accomplish his purposes, which is awesome, isn't it? I think it's an amazing thing to take into your day today. So as per Sunday school, like I was saying, Samson is described as a bit of a superhero, isn't he? Whose strength comes from his head long hair you know that's kind of a story but um as we read about Samson the, I think the writer of Judges kind of shows us something different it quickly becomes apparent that he's no different from those around him turning from God living his life on his own terms but as we read on we see moment after moment of God's faithfulness whenever Samson's in danger from lions or battling against the enemy God blesses him and fills him with the Holy Spirit empowering him with that superhuman strength to win the victory it's almost like you know, the, the writer of the judges is telling us that, you know, you might, some people might think it's by their own strength or by their own, their own talents or gifts and, and kind of attributing that to that person. But actually it's God who empowers us. It's God's Holy Spirit who empowers us to, to, to do what he wants us to do uh, in, in the world, which is awesome. Um, do you have a situation that you need the Holy Spirit to empower you in today? Remember that you don't have to face your own challenges uh, in your own strength. The Holy Spirit is God's gift to you today. Why not take some time right now? You can pause this if you like and just pray and receive a fresh filling of the Holy Spirit. You can do that now. You can pause the video or you can do it afterwards, but take some time to do that today. Back to the story. As we reach the end of chapter 16, we see Sam Samson's final moments as he cries out to God to give him strength one last time to defeat the Philistines. And Samson reaches out and rests his arms on those great pillars. And you've got this amazing picture, haven't you? And he brings the house crashing down with the enemies inside, including on himself. He sacrifices himself and destroys his enemies. In this, we see a brief foreshadow of the ultimate sacrifice that would one day be made for all of us. Jesus, the son of God, gave up his own life, defeating the ultimate enemies of sin and death, being raised to life and seated in glory at the right hand of the father. And in Jesus, we find the fulfillment of that promise that God would send a saviour to rescue his people and rule as our perfect king forever, just as the Israelites were hoping for uh, back in those times in Judges. So I pray that as you move through your day today, you'd be reminded that God loves you unconditionally and has paid the price for you. He's paid the price for your sin. It's all done. No matter how far you've strayed, no matter what you've done, no matter what you're carrying with you, God loves you unconditionally and he's with you today. Take some time to rest in the reassurance of God's perfect love for you. 
I pray that you would step into the fullness of life that he's promised you and that you'd be filled with the Holy Spirit, ready to win the victory by his strength and in his name. So yeah, take some time today, rest in that perfect love of God and take some time to get that fresh filling of the Holy Spirit to accomplish God's purposes in the world. He wants to use you. Have a great day, church. Love you a lot. See you soon.